Okay, boxing fans, right now I'm talking about Stuart Hall versus Randy Caballero. This is for the IBF Bantamweight title. Vacant title. Stewie Hall is fighting for this title, and so is Randy Caballero. What do you know about Randy Caballero, Kingy? Uh, not an awful lot, really. I have heard his name before, but I don't know much about him at all, really, to be honest. No, not many people do. <laughs> Nope. So, Paul, what do you reckon about Randy Caballero? Have you ever heard of him? Yeah, I've heard of him. I've seen him. I've watched maybe one or two fights. And I know he's a come-forward, aggressive fighter. And he likes to come forward the knockout. He doesn't just sit on the back foot and box like a lot of American fighters do. Comes forward. And he rem- if, I could pick, if I can compare him to one fighter, I'd say he's a mini Brandon Rios sort of fighter. He'll come forward, look on top of the wall, yeah, and to trade. And I think that's probably what Stewie Hall in this fight will want exactly. Mm-hmm. Very good. Rory, what are your thoughts on Randy Caballero? Have you ever seen him? Uh, I've not seen much of, if any of him. Um, Golden Boy Prospect, 24 years old. 20 odd fights so far. Um, yeah, decent enough level fighter. Um, good up and coming prospect that he seems to have a, a decent bit of. You know, influential people behind him with the likes of Golden Boy. So, should uh, he's, he's certainly um, is it, there's enough praise about the kid. You know, coming into this fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've noticed that he's won some amateur things at uh, super flyweight, and now he's a bantamweight. This is going to be a step up for him. I mean, this will be his best opponent to date, really. You know, he, he did fight another guy who was from Japan and had like thirty odd fights, but. The guy was domestic level in, in in the Japanese sense, so you can take what you want from that, even though I do agree the Japanese fighters in the lower weights are very good. I still think this will be his toughest fight to date. You know, he's fighting in Monte Carlo as well, that's going to be something for him. But overall, I, I like the look of this Caballero guy. I think this could be a good fight for him. But it's also a good fight for Stewie Hall. I'll go back to Kingy. What does Stewie Hall have over his opponent? in terms of attributes? Well, I don't think I've ever seen anyone with a better engine than Stewie Hall, so I'd probably say his engine. I mean, the guy's just unbelievable. He never gives up in the ring, you know. He just keeps throwing bombs, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Just keeps pumping that work rate out. You know, that's definitely his biggest attribute, so I'd go with that, mate. Yeah, yeah. What are your, th- what are your thoughts, um, Paul? Uh, again, engine, and maybe just experience. You know, a little bit of ring savvy, because I know Hall's not has a load of fights. Well, you know, he's been in some tough fights over the years. He fought Jamie McDonald. He fought what's his face, um, Fuzzy Malinga. He fought Paul Butler. You know, he he knows how to um, he knows how to handle himself in the ring. Do you know what I mean? He's not a guy who, if he falls behind at any point in the fight, then his head goes down and he just gives up. You know, he knows how to stay in a fight. He knows how to dig deep. And he knows how to, re- you know, really give his opponent problems from the first minute to the last. Yeah. And Cab- Caballero, again, I've seen a little bit of him. He's, you know, he's a young kid. He's a prospect. Maybe he's not had a good check fight yet, is what I'd say. Whereas Stewie Hall's had plenty of them. Mhm. Yeah. For me, oh no, I just go to Rory. In fact, Rory, what are your thoughts? Do you, do you think? What do you think Stewie Hall has got over his opponent in terms of attributes? Um, just, the, just the experience really is for a better calibre of guys and I think what King said is pretty spot on as well that he's um, he, he, he's had that sort of you know that engine that you know that I, I doubt a young kid of 24 probably has um, you know you never know he may do but I think this, this young lad is going to have a lot more tests going up against Jury Hall than Jury Hall will have tests going up against this young lad mm-hmm yeah, for me, the obvious thing I would say is he's more experienced in this type of fight. This will be Caballero's first world title shot. It's not Stewie Hall's. Stewie Hall has been, you know, in big fights before. The likes of, you know, he's fought a lot of guys. Really, Napa, Ian Napa. You said that was a big domestic fight for him. You know, he's failed as well domestically. He knows how to come back from that. Randy doesn't know how to fail yet either. That's what. That's something. Could he? If he faces a, 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 what's the word? 
adversity. How will he deal with that in the fight? We don't know. And Stuyol on the night, he's, he's on, the, on any night, Stuyol, if he gives it his all, which he will do, he is going to make it hard for anyone, win or lose. The next thing I'm going to ask is, do you think Stewie Hall, who is probably an extremely poor British version of the Cinderella Man, I'm saying that in the nicest sense of the word, comparing it to the original Cinderella Man. Do your boxing history if you don't know who that is. Kingy, do you think the British poor man's version of the Cinderella Man can shock the world again? Uh, just want to say, don't watch the film if you want to know the actual history of the Cinderella Man as well, because it was completely false about Max Bear. But uh, on to that question. Um, sorry, mate, what was the question again? Can you shock the world again? Can you shock the world again? Yeah, I think I reckon he can, yeah. I don't see why not. I mean, Stewie Hall's got, like everyone says, he's got guts and he's got determination. He'll never give it up. I mean, we don't know about this Caballero, whether he's going to be able to, you know, bite down on the gum shield and really give it his all when he's when he has his tricky moments, you know. Because Hall's going to put him under pressure. That's what he does. He's a tough nut to crack. I've never seen anyone, you know, really, really push him back or anything. He always keeps coming and coming. So I'd say he can do, yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Paul? Do you think this, the British poor man, Cinderella man, is going to shock the world again? Um, I wouldn't be massively surprised if he did, but I'm, are you asking me if I'm, if I'm picking him to win? Uh, well, I'm just saying, do you think he could win? Do you think he could? Do I think he, he, he definitely could win? He definitely could, because as Kingy said, he's a determined guy, he's a proud guy, he's been in a lot of really tough war fights, and he always gives it his all. This Caballero lad has never been in with anyone anywhere near the determination that Stewie Hall's got, and you. Stewie Hall's got a lot of determination anyway, but he's got even more going into this fight because he lost his title last time out. Doesn't feel he should have lost it. You know, he really wants his title back. He wants that belt back around his waist. And he, he'll probably want this fight even more than he wants to be first world title fight against Malinga. So, yeah, he definitely could win. Definitely. definitely. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Rory? Yeah, I'm going to pretty much echo the other guys. Um, definitely can win. Um, I think, like I said, I think there's a lot more questions for this young young Caballero to answer, um, and Stewie Hall is going to be a really big test for him. There's not going to be any let up. Stewie Hall is going to fight from first bell to last bell, and it's whether or not this young lad can deal with it. Mm-hmm. Um, if he can't, and it's too much room, then Stewie Hall has every chance of winning this year. Yeah. yeah. That's the case, isn't it? I mean, Stewie Hall, like I said, on his night can give anyone a good fight, and I think that's the point. So he could shock the world again. If he does that, is a whole other case. I mean, that's without bringing in what Caballero is going to do. He's coming all the way over here. Don't forget, from America to Monte Carlo. He ain't coming. He ain't coming here just to get his ass kicked. He's coming here to kick ass too, and that's what it's going to come down to. So I'm going to come down to the predictions, and I'll give my one first this time. I'm going to say Randy Caballero stops Stewie Hall and answers a whole lot of questions in this fight. That's what I say. Stops Stewie Hall, middle rounds. Your watch. I'm going to go to Kingy. What is your prediction? I'm going to go for uh, Stewie Hall on points. And I think later on he's going to grind him down. I mean, he might be coming over thinking he's fighting, you know, a regular British fighter, which... You know, a lot of the time in America, we get we send Brits over to America, and they're, and they're not our best guys. And I think the Yanks sometimes think that we're soft and that we're easily beaten. And I think he might underestimate Stewie Hall, and I think he might be in for a shot. So I'm going to pick Stewie Hall. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts, Paul? Prediction? My prediction is the same as yours. I'm going to pick Caballero to stop Stewie Hall in the second half of the fight, maybe the eighth or the ninth. And I say that because we've, we've said Stewie Hall is going to come at Cavalero and try and test him. But I've watched Cavalero. He's got a very aggressive style himself. You know, he is not going to... If you think that he's just going to shit himself because uh, that when Stewie Hall comes at him all aggressive, I can tell you he's not going to. He's going to come right back at him. It's going to be two trains colliding and they're basically just going to slug it out. And 
Stewie Hall, he was he was hurt against Malinga. You, you know, his eye swelled up terribly. Uh, and this lad's got a good work rate himself, by the way. He's a very, very aggressive, come forward, in your face, I'm going to try and knock it out type of fighter. And he and Hall are going to really, really have a war here, to be perfectly honest. But I can see maybe... I can, I can see Hall getting stopped, to be honest. Don't see him getting knocked out or anything. Don't see him getting massively embarrassed by any stretch. But maybe I can see his eye or something like that swelling up again. And maybe his corner pulling him out. Do you know what I mean? I can I can definitely see that happen. I can see Cavalero having just a bit a bit too much magic dust for him. I'll I'll, I'll use that term. Magic I'm dust. Pick, eh? Magic dust. That's what Ricky Atten says. Ricky Atten describes his special fighters as having a bit of magic dust. Magic fighters dust. who the, the, it's basically a posh way of saying this fighter's not ordinary. They've got something special inside them. Mm-hmm. You know. So I I can see Cavalero stopping Hall in the later rounds but Paul will definitely give it a good go you know he won't embarrass himself at all he'll come back with a lot of credit but mm-hmm. I, I just I don't see him winning the fight now mm-hmm. Rory what's your official prediction yeah I'd love to see Hall win it but um, pretty much Paul's just said it word for word I think that um, I can't see Stuart Hall being counted out or anything like that I think that it might be a referee stoppage or a corner just kind of stopping it if he's getting beat, you know. Um, it most of uh, you know, a specific prediction, it'd probably be rounds 10 to 12, Caballero wins by stoppage. Mm-hmm. Well, there are our predictions, guys. Tell us what you think, and thanks for listening to our predictions.